Welcome Stargate fans with us today is Sifi Craig Engler. Big topic here is us fans want to know what are you folks over at Sifi doing to your network programming. Sifi has cancelled Stargate Universe, which was first heard from your announcement on Twitter. Well I'm surprised that SGU has been axed, I am also surprised of the Twitter update from you, Craig Engler announcing the cancellation not only to the world, but to the cast too. Yes, I did announce that through Twitter before our official statement on the network site. As you will find out, I am always tweeting. I answer questions and speak with fans about the network. So why did Sifi or MGM not want to support the show anymore? There is literally no one other than MGM who supported it more than we did. We were the only network who gave the show a try and the only ones who committed to making and airing 40 episodes before a script had been written. We invested tens of millions of dollars and thousands of hours of work over many years making and supporting the show. Why did you not allow enough time for Stargate Universe to evolve like the other SG shows? Well we thought the show would have did good from the start. It is. Stargate. A lot of new shows even ones coming as spin-offs from other show need time to pick up a following. Do you believe the fans of the past shows should have stuck around to see what you had in store for this new show? We gave it time to develop. The whole first season of the show. The numbers we seen from our old outdates rating system we used were not promising. We were hoping for those fans from the previous shows to follow with the new show. We decided to move the show around in a few new time slots because we just added wrestling to Sifi and it has been pulling in more ratings and money than most science fiction shows. Since wrestling was dropped by USA we went and added it to our lineup. I am a science fiction fan myself and I am also a Stargate fan. Season 2 was getting good but you already pulled the plug on that way before your network started airing the last season. Why did you not allow season 2 a chance to bringing the show back from a slow start? Many say your network flawed rating system is outdated, but your other shows you have those ratings are even lower than SGU 1.6 million to 2 million viewers is a lot even for a show on your network if those rating are low to you, then you should be pulling a lot of shows off your network. Even your B-rated movies, we all know they do not gross 1.6 million to 2 million viewers when they are aired. The ratings peaked around 3 million viewers, including DVR, shortly after its series premiere, then sagged around a near 2 million viewers, during season 2 when the show moved to Tuesday and then to Monday nights. Fans slammed the network for erratic scheduling and accused us at Sifi of not promoting the show and cancelling it to make room for wrestling. Which we are getting really irritated by the SGU fans. We moved the final 10 episodes of SGU to Monday nights where we just had success with our new show being human, but the ratings remained flat. SGU did finish out its run with a nice spike for the finale, which is something else you also typically see with TV shows that are ending. We would have happily kept making SGU regardless of anything else on our schedule if the ratings were sustainable. We don't discontinue shows to make room for other shows, no network does, because no network has a full roster of successful series. SGU was judged solely on its own ratings. All thoughts been coming out of your mouth is ratings ratings ratings. To be frank with you, I am getting tired of your shit. You know the real reason why you pulled the show and cancelled it. I am getting irate. I am ready to reach over this table like a pimp that backhands his hoe. I am sick of your shit sir. You cannot give any real answers. The fans know the truth. You know you pulled the show to make way for low budget shows that you think will bring in a semi larger profit. Your network is becoming money hungry, so you realize you cannot gross enough money off of a great franchise no more because sucked it dry. You then waste money to put into your original shows, they will never be successful as Stargate. You rather have wrestling which in itself makes money from the ticket sales. Your network gets a gross profit of those sales for airing wrestling and on top of that you make money off of the ones sitting at home. You should be staying true to your format as a science fiction network. 
in the end of the day, we have to make money, or else we wouldn't have been human in Warehouse 13 because these show our original ideas of Sifi. Sifi owns the copyright to these programs and like the Stargate franchise. If it has Stargate in the name it is owned by MGM. MGM had a lot of the same anything we did and we had to pay them money to use their ideas from the original movie for the show. The fans should not be blaming Sifi for the show being cancelled. If you want to point fingers you should be pointing them at the writers and MGM. The writers are what killed the show not us. The writers are the ones who can't decide over how to plot out each season. They can never come to a decision, most of the time the decisions are based on a vote of what should or should not be in an upcoming season. In all honesty we were not making the money we needed. With wrestling. We are making the money we need to have the rest of our original shows in production. We cannot keep losing money for something we don't own the rights to. What about the movies that were talked about for Atlantis and why not a movie to finish the rest of the story for SGU? We cannot pull any more funds away from our original shows and movies to fork into Stargate shows or movies. The movies for the TV shows are up to MGM. I truly think you should reconsider sir. Have you not noticed when season 2 aired there was a rise in rating as you see called seemed to keep throwing at us. We only have a graph of the first season. We stopped paying attention when the show was cancelled we did see the rating for the finale but that was it. We are moving on to other things. We really do careless about the profit we pulled in after the airing of season 2 because it was already cancelled now that money is being divided between our original productions. The fans are not going to give up. You do understand, you're completely stopping and shutting down the Stargate franchise. The fans of these shows are the ones who help make your network success fluke. Do you know that almost every one of these fans have to pay to have access to your network? If you have cable you have to upgrade to get the Sifi channel from that provider. Satellite networks charge extra for it also. Fans in countries all over the world pay extra. Why not give the fans what they want and just put the show back in production? I wish we could give the fans what they want but it is out of our hands. It is solely up to MGM and their writers to bring the show back or some other network to save the Stargate franchise. Our network will not pay to use the name anymore and lose profit. This is bullshit. You made a lot of money over the years on all the SG shows. This is why you are able to have your original crap. For example a recent show you aired is just a revamp show of one that has failed. For example Urban Legends that aired on Friday before the recap of SGU finally you changed their name and updated the dialogue. What I don't understand is you just recently said in a statement that your network is not interested in old cancel shows of your network, or from others. You truly gave up on the wrong show. You should never give up on the people who help you build your network. Do you have new shows playing on your network that take place in space? No we don't as of now. Do you have any shows that give a true definition to science fiction? No. Not really but we do have some coming soon. What makes you think the fans of Stargate, BSG, and Caprica will watch these? We are hoping for the fans to give in. Like they did when SG was cancelled. Well SG had a semi ending, they made it home to earth with Atlantis. Defended off the Wraith. The ending to SGU was in no way a proper ending. It was a cliffhanger. There are so many unanswered questions of what was the final mission. I really don't think the fans are going to give up either. Until they get a proper ending. That was the writer's idea to end it like that. They do decide over how the plots will unfold and end. So let me get this clear you are blaming MGM, the writers, the fans for not watching when you air the show. You are full of shit. Your network needs to take the responsibility of its mistake instead to finding ways around the truth. I see your newly airing shows failing if you keep blaming everyone else but your own network. You need to bring back the Stargate franchise. A lot of fans will not watch these new shows just to make you and your shows fail or they will not give up their time to just see them to get cancelled after your network does not see a profit. We are done with this interview. Own up to your mistakes.